think what's going through my head when I'm out there waiting for a set and waiting for a, a, a wave to come is I'm just still, I'm just present with the ocean and feeling myself going up and down and I'm just feeling if a set's coming. Floating across the water, I can feel like the little ripples. If I'm on a good wave, I can sort of get up into the lip and I'm sort of floating up the top of the, the wave and it's just being an absolute flow with Mother Nature. I lost my vision when I was five years old and I've basically lost all of my central vision so I've got big black uh, dots in the centre of my vision. My vision disorder is called macular dystrophy. I think a lot of people would know what tunnel vision is. Mine's basically the opposite of that so I've got nothing in the centre at all and then the outside's really really blurry. There's about two to three waves in every set yeah. and they're coming through probably every three to four minutes. Yeah. So. Well it sounds like that's just breaking on the shore Yeah. and then the, yeah, I can hear the ones breaking out the back. From as far back as I can remember there's always been the ocean or the water in my life. We were always playing at the beach and Dad used to take me out and my big brother used to take me out and push me into waves on a bodyboard from about the age of five. So I learnt to feel what it was like going down the wave and they'd, um, yeah, they'd sort of push me on the angle so I knew if I was going left or right. A lot of the times these days I'm working with amazing people like with Crispy and that they're telling me what's going on so it's just spending time with friends in the water and waiting for them to give me that next verbal cue. Come back to me, over here, go, go, go. Matt's really good at staying in the pocket of the wave when you connect your board to the wave and to your body movements. It looks so beautiful on the wave and that's what judges love to see is big maneuvers and just that read of the wave. My job is to get Matt into the best way possible, so I'm Matt's eyes and also working for Matt, but then Matt, he has to still perform and all bring it all together on the wave, so it's that releasing Matt to do what he does best. So I've always played sport, but never played, uh, never, never really owned the fact that I had a disability. I wanted to prove to the world that I didn't have a disability growing up. Uh, it wasn't until my late 20s that I sort of yeah, decided to do have a disability and um, wanted to have a crack at the Paralympics. So I started racing, I started cycling. Ended up becoming a world, world champion, world record holder, and I won gold medals all over the world for Australia, which was, was amazing. Surfing, which has always been my love, and it's been the, the thing that I would have lo would have loved to have gone to the Paralympics for, and probably would have gone when I was a teenager. Um, it didn't. There was no com competition for people with disabilities, um, certainly not in Australia and not globally, until 2016, which was when I went to the Rio Paralympics for cycling. I jumped off the bike, and I'm now surfing for Australia, and won three world titles, and I've won multiple U.S. Opens, and yeah, I've won comps now all over the world in, in surfing. The ultimate goal is to represent Australia in the green and gold at the Paralympics in surfing.